Good morning and welcome back to subsistence. So we're just chilling in the garden room. It is still very much nighttime, enjoying the glow of the fire. Uh, I was just listening to um, a nearby cougar, but I uh, I think it's moved on now. Um, yeah, let's get a light on so we can see exactly what we're doing. It's a beautiful, beautiful fire to sit and stare at. Um, and I've got some stuff to show you. Um, there has been an update since the last episode. We are now on um, Alpha 54 and that has brought with it um, dedicated servers. Um, there are a couple of um, fixes and a couple of small changes to the single player game. Most of this update has been dedicated to um, getting servers online for people to play together. Um, so we've got um, a couple of things in here. We now have labels for our storage chests and they are crafted using, I think it was zinc. We'll have a look at the one downstairs because I haven't crafted one down there yet. Um, zinc and iron and some scrap or something. Uh, but you can pick a different picture. Um, so hopefully, yep, that changes in real time, which is a nice touch. Um, and I've just used the vegetable sign there because of my garden and it's on all three sides. I don't know if it's on the back. We'll have a look inside there. We'll have a look inside here actually. Yeah, it is on the back as well, which is really awesome. Um, plants now take a little bit longer to harvest. Uh, so let's pick these tomatoes. Yeah, that's, that's quite a nice touch, I think. A little bit more realistic maybe. Uh, let's harvest all of these and we'll replant before we move on. Yeah, I, I guess that is more realistic. I do miss the old way a little bit now I'm doing this here, but those tomatoes look more, I don't know, more real somehow? That's weird. Okay, we've got some potatoes. Lovely. And we've got some cotton. Well, the cotton takes considerably longer. Nice. Okay, and then we've got what one tomato there. Okay, right. Let's turn this light off now that we uh, we have some daylight. Uh, we should replant. So, um, hmm. do I want to plant any more tomatoes? Should I really go for some onions? Let's go for some onions. Let me just go and grab those quickly and we'll finish this off. Uh, where are you? You're in here now. Yep, good. Okay, so let's have... Um, let's extract five. That'll give me six. We'll put one of those in there. And we'll put one of those, and then in here we'll do four of you. Let's split that in half, in half again. Oh, in half again. And let's extract four seeds and drop those in there. And then we'll wait for that to be finished before we replant that bed, I think. No need to, to rush that. Um, okay, I think that's everything we need. I am tempted to do another eight tomato seeds, actually. Hang on a second, let's quickly do that now. And extract three. And we'll drop those in there and they'll be ready for when that other bed is clear. Uh, okay, so we've got the harvesting of the plants. Um, the storage bins um, now have their labels. I'm trying to remember, desperately trying to remember the patch notes. Uh, they're available on Steam if you want to go and have a look through. There were a couple of fixes to some sound bugs, um, some interaction with getting stuck on things, bugs, that kind of thing. Um, not really going to go into that too much this episode. Because um, I'm really concentrating on single player, obviously, in this playthrough. Um, but I have done, you'll notice if you look out the window behind, uh, I've done some work outside, which is exciting. Let's just... Uh, I'll feed them more to the plants when we get back. They can have a day, day on their own, bend into their, their own devices. Okay, did I turn the light off up there? Let's have a quick look. Yep, I did. Okay, let's get down this ladder again. Oh my gosh. There we go. Awesome. 
Right, let's chop that up. Let's put the food away. So we've got you, you, and you. We'll take two tomatoes out with us. And I'm going to drop... Yep, we'll drop the wood in there. I've got two fuel bricks on me. And we've got some more cotton. Awesome. Right, so I spent a day in game just logging for wood and then turned a lot of that wood into planks and as you can see I managed to complete the walls around the base. Um, I spent a lot of time gathering crates that I saw on my travels as well. Um, it took a while, it really did take a while. This is not finished by the way. We are going to have some walls up uh, on top of this and what I'm thinking of doing is doing a half vertical wall alongside a quarter wall um, to make kind of like cast castellations or castellations well, however it's pronounced I can't remember exactly at the moment but uh, we'll have a high a low maybe a full window you know and a low and a high that sort of thing going along so I've got things I can duck behind but lots of plenty of visibility and access for fighting because I think these hunters are going to be running around all over the place dodging behind trees and and bushes but I'm going to hop down here and let you see the walls from the outside so I like this section I like the way the water is allowed to flow uninterrupted. I put um, a foundation piece as the ceiling on that corner post um, and I think it just works being embedded into the the riverbed like that. Um, that chicken's looking at the trap but there's no no berries in it. Sorry about that chicken. We've got no animals at the moment by the way. I've harvested them all for food and I like this as well. I like the way this side I like the way there's that gap again with the posts bedded in uh, and the water flows through uninterrupted I think that works out beautifully um, so once these walls are up what I'm thinking of doing with the railings is moving them onto the inside edge um, but yeah we've gone all the way around let's head down I just want to head down here a little bit. Oh, there's a bear. We can't really go too far. Uh, let's have a look from maybe up here. And we can pick up this carrot while we're, while we're here. So what I've done, keep an eye on the animals, is I've kind of boxed in all of the, the walls too. So uh, there's no sort of visibility into the compound from down below, if you see what I mean. And I've got this little access part of the rock there that works beautifully I imagine an animal will probably run up there at some point but it works for the moment um, and I've got some railings on here which will probably stay I don't think I want to block this view this is this is a nice view but definitely over here I need we know the hunters stand there and we know the hunters come here but they don't generally tend to stand down here too much and I can really see those from inside the house so I think that'll be okay. Um, I've put a light um, here which lights up the stairway and lets me get water without needing my torch on which is awesome. If I go down in here you can see where I've boxed in underneath the foundations and where there is um, the corner and the two um, portions either side of the corner I've got those on foundations so that they bed into the rock nicely um, whereas everything else is just walls and ceilings using that moving the foundation trick that I showed you in one of the previous videos so I think it looks fantastic it's come out much better than I was hoping uh, I do have a little bit of work to do here just to box this in as well but with a number of bears down there and my lack of nails in my storage crates, um, that's going to have to wait, so we'll, uh, we'll get out and do some more work another time. Um, oh, and I put a, a window in up here. I forgot to mention that. So we've got a nice uh, metal stairway. Such a great view from here, it really is. Uh, onto our balcony. 
which we could wrap around the whole side of the building eventually. But yeah, I replaced this one solid wall here with that glass window. And uh, I think it really works. Looks absolutely fantastic. I'm very pleased with it. Oh, and I moved the bed. The bed was here before in this position. Uh, and I just thought it made sense to have that just up against the garden uh, greenhouse uh, wall there. Let's hop up onto the roof. Nothing's changed up here. I do want to get another solar panel, um, which we'll do at some point. I'm not sure about needing another turbine. Um, but we can certainly probably get one on the end there, um, if necessary. So we've got room. But yeah, that's what it uh, what it all looks like. Everything met up as well. So this is in line. Um, I think the building the the building is is obviously here, and then the um, compound is just meets it here. So it all lined up beautifully all level. Yeah, I'm really chuffed. It's come out very well. Anyway, right, let's get downstairs because we want to go out there and do some looting. Um, I think I put the wood away, didn't I? Yeah, I do want to keep these topped up. I'm trying to catch up on my um, production of ash because we, we ran it to the ground. So let's drop all of that away and then we'll eat, drink, and then we'll get out and go and do some looting. And uh, as I say, I'll sort the plants out when we get back a bit later on. And drop you in there. Let's have a look at food. Okay, so we've got some steak and eggs we can eat. Um, we probably need water. Um, let's have one of those tomatoes. Oh, we might need something else. Maybe a berry. And I've got this water up here in the garden bin. I'm just going to drink that for now because I want to keep two on me. We are in July. We're going to get warm. And uh, I don't want to have to stop and refill and, and waste time getting that done. Um, okay, so power-wise, not too bad. Um, I think the generator is full. We could run that. But I don't see there's any need at the moment. Um, I've got some biofuel. I went out and killed a few wolves as well. Um, that is all of the nails that we've got left. And we do have a few plank, well, one plank, but we do have wood to make some planks, so that's not too bad. We got some more alloy sheets that we should really consider upgrading something else in the base. But I need to, I need to have a think about what I'd like to upgrade. So we've got food, water, we've got extra food, water and fruit on us, a um, bit of ammo, a few arrows. Let's go and do some looting. And uh, we do need to get another chicken. That's something I definitely want to get sorted. <gasps> There's a locked crate. My god, right on the doorstep. Um, that was weird. That uh, move backwards and forwards like that. Are you potassium or iron? I think you're potassium. Let's have a look. I think it's potassium. Yeah. I don't think we've got enough iron to actually craft ourselves another lockpick anyway. I did get a locked crate, um, which is where I got a lot of the glass panels for, for the base. Um, yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. Um, depends how long that's been there, I guess. Let me quickly, quickly go and check. Now I've realised that I would like one of these um, half stairways going that way. I think that would help with quick access. And I also might consider putting put in a doorway in on this side as well. Um, that's not very close to being ready to extract. Let's have a look in here. Yeah, we've only got 12. We don't have nearly enough. That's fine. Not even going to bother running that with anything else um, in here. Okay, we'll have to leave that locked crate. It's a shame. But that's what happens sometimes. This shows me I need to 
need to get some more iron. What's nice about this this rock face is we've got access kind of all all around. Nice climbable access um, for us to kind of get up here and have a look around but not so easy for the hunters. It's uh, it's pretty good. I uh, chose, a, chose a good rock. I do like building on rocks. Okay, I'm going to keep my pickaxe out and try and just get a little bit of wood as we run around and start turning that into planks. I'm going to head off behind me towards the valley, I think. Um, the last time I checked the map, uh, over in the southeast area was a rogue camp. Now they might have moved, but um, yeah, I think we'll head over this way. It's a lovely... oh, there's a wolf. It's a lovely day. Nice weather. Keep an eye on all of these rocks, looking for ore. Not a lot around here. And I need to listen for hunters chopping wood. And all that sort of good stuff. There's a strawberry. Let's try and grab as many of those today as we can. I think we've got about 10 of those now in the oven. Keeping those for winter. I think it would be nice if we could start canning food maybe to preserve it as well. That would be cool. I know other games have done that. Um, so it's it's not outside the realms of possibility. But I'm thinking of him. Um, well, I might just be hungry, but yeah, canned, canned strawberries or strawberry jam or that kind of thing would be cool. Right, I'm hot already. That's going to happen a lot today. Okay, there's another strawberry. wonder how long they last in the season. We found quite a few of them. I see some potassium there, I think. I'm really looking for iron. Let's look around this side of the rock. Nothing there. Oh, there's a little bit. Can we reach that? We might be able to get that one, actually. Let's see. Oh. Right, we, we're going to have to do the, the jump and hit thing. I have to excuse my loud keyboard. I've noticed it on some recordings recently, but um, it's not too distracting, I don't think. But it is a lovely keyboard to use. It's incredibly responsive. I'm very comfortable. Okay, let's just check this um this ore out because it it does it might be iron. Yeah, it might be iron. I'm almost tempted to run this back to the base and get it refining. But I really could do with some some crates. We haven't got anything really useful so far. Uh, yes, let's keep that out. I'm always wary going over the the rise here. Very easy to come face to face with a small group of rogues before you realise what you've done. So, um, yeah, it's happened before. They camp in and around these rocks and they're very difficult to see. You usually hear them first. Usually a few footsteps up behind you. And by then it's usually too late. Uh, one more. It's amazing how used to the pattern of three logs I've got, I've got used to that pattern um, over by where the house is, where, where the base is, because uh, they're all pretty much three log trees around there. Let's 
so when I hit up a four log tree I have to wait just that a little bit longer and it feels unnatural now. So we need to get a couple of berries today and put those in the trap. I've tried to keep it repaired so that we can just get back to using it rather than wasting it and letting it decay. Um, but I really couldn't afford to keep the, the chicken and rabbit going all the time needed a day or so's grace of uh, just letting some food build back up, wait for a harvest or two. I do have food, I've got plenty of tomatoes in the fridge but you go through them just so quickly. And uh, that cycle of having to feed and water the plants instead of just leaving them to grow on their own a little bit more slowly yeah, it gets a bit much, so I've been rushing the harvest through um, for a little while and uh, yeah, I just needed, I needed a break from it really. Right, I see a berry up on the hill on the left, let's go and get that next. Um, while we are running around, let's turn what we're harvesting into planks because we're going to need to... oh I thought that was a berry. This is uh, what I saw. We're, we are going to need to turn this... Um, all of these materials into the defences so... I've got an idea in my head of how it should look. But until we get one or two pieces placed I'm not sure if it's going to be the final design. Uh, and we definitely need a, a good stock of nails and wood in order to do repairs because once we switch the hunters over to um, random attacks we're going to start getting visits and damage and having to repair so that fun will start. It's been it's been weird or interesting this season just concentrating on kind of a peaceful playthrough. We've done a couple of attacks but nowhere near as many as we did last season and the season before which seemed to be constant battles with the hunters. Um, it's been nice to just concentrate on gathering items, building the base up, getting it all fitted out. And as so, as uh, is the case, we haven't spent in this area, or that area where we've built, as much time looting as we would have if we had been over here, for example, in the valley. Um, so it's been a little bit slower progression, which has been different so it just shows you you can play the game many different ways and still still enjoy it quite versatile but yeah it's a constant constant grind if you have the hunters turn to random attacks um, and you're doing retaliations backwards and forwards oh it gets draining you're constantly looting Getting you, getting your ammo, breaking into bases, it's uh, a never ending cycle. I wish there was a little bit more randomness to it some sometimes. Right, what have we got here? Uh, that looks like, um, I think that might be, that might be iron. Could be potassium though, it's hard to, yeah this is iron really is hard to tell in the in the daylight the full sun of summer let's get some more wood I'm just looking around just taking it easy today uh, we'll grab you I might just grab this bit of zinc now that the storage labels um, need zinc the oxygen tanks need zinc um, something else needs zinc 
Yeah, it's a little bit more necessary now. I used to ignore zinc, to be honest. Oh, that's nice. Nice and quiet in the valley. That's good. At least so far. Might take out a wolf or two. There's a couple of wolves here that we could definitely target. How many shotgun shells do we have? Yeah, we've got enough. I know a lot of people prefer to use the bow, but I like the certainty of just a single shotgun blast, to be honest. Personal preference. Nothing wrong with using the bow if you wish to. It's just what I've always done, always will do. I'm not one for changing styles halfway through a game. Okay, should we uh, butcher you up while we... Yeah, we should be okay here. A oh, bit of fat, okay, and let's get a shotgun for this other one. <laughs> That's already heard us, look at that. Come on. Love the way they gallop at you. I remember the first time I did that and I was scared to death. I was convinced I was going to mess it up and uh, he was going to eat me. It's kind of second nature now. Leaving little blood spatters all over the uh, landscape. I will make my way down to the pond, I think, and we'll go and wash, wash up. Although I can use my uh, my water, of course. Let's see if I uh, got that one. Actually, do we need a drink? Let's have a quick look. Um, yes, we do. Let's have a vegetable. We'll have the berry. And yeah, let's have a protein bar or two. Get a little bit more wood and we'll head down to the uh, the pond. So I think the um, compound, it's the first time I've built one. But I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to be interesting to play around with that with the hunters. Um, fighting them from there. I really don't want to damage the base. I hate repairing the base. Whoops. I really do. Um, rather not do that if I can help it. Much rather take the fight to them and fight them, you know, from a rock or near their own base or something. But uh, when they retaliate, you can't really avoid having that little fight with them. Okay, I've got a feeling there might be some rogues down here. So this might just be a very quick... Yeah, quick wash. Let's grab that. And then we can at least wash hands on the way back if we decide to take on anything else. Let's... Uh, see what's over here. Oh, there's a deer. Just going to go for this plant. The visibility in this area is so much better than where we are. Although we've got a lovely high, high point. We can often see the hunters running up towards us. That's... I've got to give it that. Yeah, we're losing light. Okay, we are going to have to make a beeline back to the base. So, let's see. What would be the, the fastest way back? I think it is going to have to be this way. Once we get round the bend here, it should brighten up a little bit. I don't think it will be quite as dark all the way back. Let's grab this bit of iron, though. Just very much that we're down in the down in the valley back there. Um, yeah, and I saw. Ooh, okay. I saw the um, fibre up on the top of the hill. 
kind of trying to grab as many plants as I can, but not leaving myself too late in the day to get home. Feels like I was very close to that wolf there. I'm going to run round to the side here, just because I don't want to get too close to the hunters. We're really not far from, from the base now. But again, I don't want to run into anyone that might be wandering down here to fish, so I think we'd be okay to get this. Uh, we haven't done very well at all with nails. I did have a much better day when I was out um, chopping wood. Much more successful day. Let's get the flashlight on. Oh, uh, yep, there we go. Um, is that a crate over there? Felt like I saw a crate. Yep, run chicken. I think we'll go up here. Yikes, okay. We've got a wolf here. Let's run down then. It's okay. He might jump down on top of us from there. But I really do need to sort out um, access to this place because if we have a predator on one side or the other, we are kind of boxed in with only one door um, into the uh, into the compound because the other side is that route up the uh, up the rock face so it's not it's not ideal oh my gosh that was noisy okay we made it back um let's put this light on or to show you um really uh, illuminates the area pretty well oh one of the changes one of the fixes was um the torch if you notice now when you come inside a building uh there aren't those sort of black patches in the torchlight that there were before. Uh, Coal Games has uh, fixed whatever that was, those artifacts, so that's pretty cool. Right, good. Let's get some of this stuff in the fridge. And the fat on to render. Try not to throw the camera view around. Sorry about that. Um, good. And... Okay, we've got some planks during that run which is not too bad and we can make some more that's fine uh it's just the nails that we're, we're desperately short on i think i'm just going to make that many and we'll go and top up the fire we did better on ore though and i am definitely going to split this in half and switch that on look at our power we haven't been running the generator today so that has been purely the solar panels, I, I guess, bringing in that amount of uh, of power. I think that must be right. We've not been running anything other than the fridge, and yeah, we've got nothing coming in at the moment, so we are going to be in deficit. But yeah, that's interesting. I can turn this light off now. I've shown you the oh, look at the sky. It's gorgeous. Yeah, now that I've shown you the compound, the light's pretty good. And I've got another one down by the uh, chicken and rabbit coop anyway. Let's head upstairs and get this light on. Let's do the fire, grab the ash, and let's harvest and replant. So we have some tomato seeds. Let's get the water. And uh, you're just having water. You need three water. We might need to go and do a water run at the moment. This doesn't look good. And you're still not... Wow, you're still not ready to harvest. And you definitely need some water. Okay. That's all good. Um, okay. Uh, I wanted to plant that all in one go. How much have you got left? If I water you, you might pop up. Oh, we can, we can run down this way. How about that? 
That might be a bit quicker and we can hop down here and then we probably need some stairs. Maybe some stairs to there but we can take these stairs and then run up the same way we came. It's a bit long-winded isn't it? I know a lot of people have been asking for rain catches which would be nice. Obviously you need a bit of rain for those to be a benefit but yeah I'm not going to plant those until we've got the um, the full, full bed ready to go. Uh, but we can put these on the fire and I'm going to have that tomato. Nice okay. Um, you're done and yeah let's top the water up. Have I still got the flashlight on? Oh my gosh okay. Wasting this battery. But it looks cool. I do like it. Whoops it definitely makes it easier editing a video once you've uh, used the flashlight. Cool. Okay we need something quick to eat uh, so we've got a steak there ready cooked so that's fine and I may as well have one of those berries, that bit of water. I feel like this is all I do all day is run and get water. We could put the mining drill back on um, but I think I'm going to let the power build back up again naturally. Let's turn you off though. You don't use a lot of power but we've got the um, refinery running now. Okay that's awesome. Let's put the water for the garden back up here and grab that out of there. Oh I left the door open. There we are. Um, fuel brick. I just left one up here for the, the fire. Yeah I'm really enjoying how this looks. I'm pondering getting a um, sofa for here um, and then using that chair elsewhere but I'm not sure I need it. And I'm wondering about whether to put um, another full glass window here but I think balconies far enough away and protected by the compound to not be a target this, this these sections but I think any further round they might be a bit close to where the hunters come down here. Um, I, I suspect this area will get hit with grenade tipped arrows um, but over here they are definitely pushed further away um, the hunters used to come and stand you know right on the the bank of the the river and then run back into this bush or behind the trees um but they can't do that as easily now so we'll, we'll have to see once we uh, once we get an attack from them oh look at that now that's a that's a pretty shot let's take the hood off again that is that is lovely. I did um I did a view from here which I thought looked really beautiful. Um which was that sort of that sort of view because you can really get the scale of the build from there as well. That's pretty nice. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay let's get that back on. Awesome. And I think that is probably where I'm gonna call it an episode. Let me just quickly show you while it's clear down here. This view. You can see I've boxed all of that in. Looks really tidy. Then we can just come back up here back in the base. Um, I will put some fortifications here. Um, I think I think I'll put a rail in here and then I'll leave this space clear because this is where we come in. Um, yeah we'll have to see. We'll have to see what this looks like once we get that in place. 
And as I say, those outdoor railings will put on the inside rim of this walkway as well to make it a proper kind of catwalk feel. So that'll be nice. Yeah, but that is where I'm going to leave the episode. So thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, take care and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.